Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a hexagon box. I haven't done one in forever and I've never done one this size. But this one's for Valentine's, but you can make these for any occasion. This one has gumballs in it. And I love these gumballs. I got these at the Dollar Tree. This is sticking to me something sticky there. <laughs> And um, so I got the red ones because I wanted them for Valentine's Day. But they have all different colors and everything. It'd be really cute for a birthday, too. So this one is, I think it is six inches. It's six and a quarter inches tall. And it fits the gumballs. But you can put anything in this. You can put M&Ms, Skittles, anything like that would be really cute inside here, too. And I'm using the Country Bouquet bundle again for this. Did you see my cards the other day? I did a couple Valentine's cards. So these are the cards that I did. It actually coordinates with that. I actually used the Country uh, Bouquet with for this little one here. Because this one, when you punch it, it has another small heart. And this is the one that I used for that. And then I did him in these colors with the balmy blue. So I'm going to do a balmy blue one of these today as well. But isn't that cute? I love this owl. He is free with purchase, $50 purchase during celebration. And there's only one this year, y'all. So if you wanted to grab something, get it now because there's not going to be another one this year. We had two last year and I believe the year before, but there's only going to be one now again. So it has three little owls, different owls on it. But I thought he'd be so cute cause with the bow tie for Valentine's Day. All right, so those of you who are new, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and share because all that helps my channel tremendously. And thank you to all of you who have been sharing. I'm seeing that you have been sharing and I so appreciate it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. All right, so we are going to do a balmy blue one today. Let's get started with that. So what you're going to need for this is a piece of seven and a half by five, and this is the balmy blue a piece to stamp. And then you need six pieces of designer series paper. These are five eighths by five inches, and I am just using um, two different patterns on this of so the Country Floral Lane. Same designer series paper as I used on those cards. And this is the one that we're using today. It's a great one for Halloween or springtime. It's really just a really cute one. All right, let's stamp first. And this is the punch that goes with the bundle. Here is the stamp set. And I'm using the I Love You, but you can use the For You. You can use With Love for this. And I'm going to be stamping and punching this one with the leaves. And on that one, I used Sweet Sorbet and par Parakeet Party for the leaves. And on this one, I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz and Balmy Blue for the heart. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp. You can make a matrix for this and stamp the leaves uh, with the heart. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it like this and then I'm going to do the leaves because I do better doing it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this out first. I never can line them up really good with the matrix. I don't know what it is with me to stamp inside those matrixes, but I am just not as good. Sometimes if it's a very difficult one, I will work with it, but I just like doing it this way better. And yeah, it does waste a little bit of paper, but we're going to save this heart because we can use that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and just punch the leaves with the pear, pear pizzazz. And let's see, I think they're going this way. I hope they're going this way or I'm going to have to cut my paper. It kind of looks like it is though. And I just get a better result doing it this way. So I need to cut the bottom of that too. I should have done it down further. Do y'all go through this like having to cut your paper? And <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> Alright, so we have the leaves now. So everything is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and 
we're going to glue these with some wet glue on here. I can hear our garbage truck going by now, so if that's distracting, I am sorry. So we're going to do this one, and then we're going to put this one on. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to set that aside, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp the sentiment. So I'm going to use this scrap piece here. This is actually the matrix I made, and I tried doing it, and I just failed, y'all. So that's why I did it the way I did. I did it a couple times, and it just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't get them all lined up perfectly. All right, so I am going to use my scissors, and we're going to cut this. Get a little bit smaller because I want it to be small. All right, so there's the I love you. We're going to put that on the heart when we get that far. And I'm going to grab my balmy blue and we are going to score this. This piece I said was seven and a half by five, right? All right, we're going to score it on the seven and a half inch side. And we're going to score it at one and six and a quarter. And then you're going to turn it, and on the five inch side, you're going to do it at one half, one and a quarter, two, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and one quarter. All these will be in the inspiration sheet on my blog, y'all. All right, so the longer part here is the bottom of the box. We are going to cut up on this half inch side and we're going to cut that little bottom part off. Don't do the top because we need that part to close our box and for it to fold properly. I'm going to grab my ruler because we do have to hand score some of this. And I'll use a pencil. I usually just use my stylus for this and I mark, I'm going to mark it at 3 eighths with the smallest one is what I usually use. So I usually just dot it like that. But I'm going to mark it for y'all so you can see that it's half of this three-quarter inch section. These are all three-quarter inch and so that's why I am marking it at three-eighths. Half of that because we're going to score down on these. I'll erase those later. Alright, so I'm going to take my ruler and my stylus here and you're going to go from that point to this corner. I'm going to do it on going this way on all of it. It just seems to work easier and go faster this way. So go to the corner, from that point to the corner. And you're not doing it you're not going to do this on the end piece right here, which is our half inch mark. You're not going to do it on that. You're just going to do it on the other ones. Then we're going to score to this corner. From that point to this corner. And then this one. All the way down. All right, so now you want to, I'll erase these marks here really quickly. I don't want those to show on our box. And you are going to just take your finger, and this is the best way I found it. I just go ahead and sharpen them this way. This with my nail. And just go back and forth until you get them all sharpened here. And it's going to really help when we get the top of the box done. And then you want to fold these and sharpen all these. Then you can use your bone folder for this part. 
And I'm going to cut the bottom, but we're going to do this first because it'll be easier for you to sharpen that bottom part before they're all cut. And then you're just going to fold that up. And now we are going to cut up each one of these. Just cut straight. Don't cut into these because we're going to use the straight edges of these to make the bottom of our box straight. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. All right, now you're going to use your stamp and seal. Use tear and tape or stamp and seal on this part. Go all the way down your, oh, I just ran out. All the way down, I need to grab my other one. To the top, you want to go because that is going to be needing to be sealed. Fold that over. And this is going to be the top, and this is the bottom. Now to form your hexagon shape, you want to put adhesive on three of these. And actually, it doesn't really matter um, with three, which three you put it on because it's just to line these up. So go all the way to the top. All right, so now these are my three that I have adhesive on. So I'm going to take the middle one and line it up and then fold this one right on top of the other one and it'll seal there. Then you want to do this one. You can do it in any order you want, but this helps to keep your, oh, I did that wrong. This one and then this on top. And line them up because if you line them up, you're going to get a really nice hexagon shape there on the bottom. See that? All right, that's it. And sometimes I'll just take my bone folder, make sure they are all sealed down there. All right, now on these, we are going to use my eighth inch circle punch here. We don't carry this, but I'll link one in the description. And we are going to punch. And don't punch too close to the top here because you don't want it to go through when you string your baker's twine through. And you want to go all the way around on all these sides. That one's the hardest. It is the one with the half inch <laughs> piece there that we had to use as our glue tab. And it's really the hardest one to go through. All right, I am using this Baker's Twine. I use the same pack for the other one. It's the 2022-24 in colors. And I'm gonna use this blue here. I'm gonna double this because I want it to be strong for this. Make sure you, you cut enough for your um, bow. So I'm going to make sure these are even. I'm going to start with this side. And I'm going to go where I just... Let's go right here. You might need a little help getting these through. Just be real patient pulling them through. And we're going to go all the way around on this box. Okay, I got them all through. And it wasn't bad at all. And then you're going to pull these tight. And then you can see how the top... And you can fool with them and make sure they're nice and straight. If your baker's twine unravels a little bit like mine did at the thing, don't worry because we're going to cut that. Oh, you want to make sure this is tight, so I'm going to tie a knot here first. Not a total knot, but I'm going to do that real tight there, and then I'm going to do my bow. And it depends how big you want your bow. I'm making mine a little bit smaller. And then we're going to clip these, trim that ends. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. It's not even. 
and then there you go there's our little bow on top so i'm going to make that my front right here where the bow is all right we're going to mat these pieces these are five eighths by five i am using the country floral lane again same one i used for my cards which is this one right here and we're going to go every other one on these and I'm just going to use my regular snail for this. And we're going to mat these. Okay, we got them all matte now. Isn't that cute? I like the balmy blue too. It's really cute. All right, so our pieces that we stamped are ready to go. And I am going to put some, put a, put a lot of adhesive to make sure that it sticks on here. Oh, I didn't put my gumballs in, y'all. I think it held five gumballs. And then we're going to put on the I Love You across there, just like that. Really easy. All right, here's the other one with the gumballs. <laughs> and here's the balmy blue one. I'm not going to put the bow on this one because if you're going to give it to a boy or your husband or something like that, um, they might not appreciate the bow. But I really like the little bow on it. But there you go. Two different ways to make it. Two different colors. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you needed any supplies or if you'd like a catalog, the new mini catalog in the celebration brochure, please go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and there's a request catalog form on my blog. For those of you who are my regular customers and you haven't got a catalog, please fill out the request form as well because I missed the deadline for sending them out this time. I'm really sorry about that. But anyway... That's it, everyone. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.